Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic related to interpolation. In that, we are going to discuss about concept of forward operators. So, let me write it here as, let me write it as step number one. Now, let y0, y1 up to yn are known values of a function y equal to f of x. So these are the known values of a function where this f of x is the function which is unknown to us. We don't know what is the value of function and its corresponding values of x will be x0, x1 up to xn. In short, we can say that we have a value of x and y in such a way that we have x0, y0 then x1, y1 up to if we write it then we will get up to xn, yn. So this is the data which is there in a tabulated format. Now let me write it here as step number 2. The data is equally spaced. Data is equally spaced. The meaning of equally spaced is the thing but distance between all the values of x is the same. Means I can write it as x of i plus 1 will be equal to x i plus h. In other words you can say that h will be equal to x of i plus 1 minus x i. Where i starts from 0, 1, 2 up to n. Now here this h stands for step size. So let me write it here as h will be equal to step size. So it will be either x1 minus x0, x2 minus x1 like that. Now let me write it as here step number 3. Let f of x0 will be equal to y0 or f of x1 will be equal to y1 like that I can write f of xn will be equal to yn. So therefore, therefore, we define forward difference operator x. So how we can write forward difference operator. This forward difference operator is always denoted by a symbol delta. So what is the formula? Formula will be delta f of x will be equal to f of x plus h minus f of x. Take this as the equation number 1. Now this is the formula for forward difference operator. So now what we will do? First order differences will be therefore I can write it as first order differences now how I will get first order differences? In equation 1 we have to put f of x0 will be equal to y0 and put x equal to x0. So if I put it here what will be the equation? Delta f of x0 because we are putting x equal to x0 which is equal to f of x0 plus h minus f of x0. Now, we know that already we have seen h is step size which is x1 minus x0. So therefore, if I move this x0 to left hand side, I will get it as a x1. So in this place, I can write it as f of x1 because x0 plus h will be equal to x1. That is f of x1 minus f of x0. Or in other words, I can say that this will be your y1 minus y0. So that is, I can write it as y1 minus y0 will be equal to delta f of x0. Okay. So what is this delta f of x0? In other words, I can write it as this is delta y0. So that is, that is, what is your this value? You can write it as f of x1. y1 means f of x1. Already we have seen minus f of x0 is nothing but y0 or f of x1 is nothing but what? 
f of x zero plus h minus f of x zero. Now this is the equation for y one minus y zero. So similarly, I can write the equation for y two minus y. Now if you observe, when it was y one minus y zero, we got here as delta f of x zero. So here it will be delta f of x one, which is equal to delta y. In other words, I can write it as this will be what your f of x two is nothing but your y two minus f of x one is nothing but your y one. Or in other words, I can say that f of x one plus h minus f of x one. So in general, suppose if I want to write it for n number of terms, then it will be y n minus y n minus one. Will be equal to if you see when we have here one, then we got here f of x. When here uh, we have y zero term, then here we got f of x zero term. So for this also, I can write it as f of x this term that is n minus one, which will be equal to delta y of n minus one. So for this y n, how I can write? I can write it as This will be your f of x n minus f of x n minus one, or in other words, I can say that f of x n minus one plus h minus f of x n minus one. So let me take this as a equation number two. This total we will treat it as a equation number two, where if you see the terms which we have used, delta y zero. Then after that delta y one up to suppose if I write it as delta y n minus one, then this is called as your first order forward difference operator. This is called as what? First order forward difference operator. Similarly, if I want to write it for second order difference operator, then I can write it as Second order difference operator. So how I can write this second order difference operator? It will be equal to what? It will be equal to del square y zero, which is equal to del y one minus del y zero. Now already we have gone through this. What is del y one? If you see it carefully, what is del y one? It is y two minus y one. Del y one is what? Y two minus y one. So let me write it as here. Y two minus y one. Okay. Minus. What is del y zero? If you see here, this was the del y zero. Del y zero is nothing but y one minus y zero. So let me write it as here. Y one minus y zero. So how I can write it as y two minus two y one plus y zero. Similarly, how I can write for delta square y one? It will be equal to Delta y2 minus delta y1. So delta y2 will be equal to what? If you see here, what is delta y1? Y2 minus y1. So for delta y2, we can write y3 minus y2 minus y2 minus y1. So if you solve this, you will get it as y3 minus 2y2 plus y1. So let me take. This as the equation number three. So here we have seen second order difference operator. So for n number of terms, how we can write it as? It will be delta square y of n minus two will be equal to delta y of n minus one minus delta y of n minus two. So if I want to write it, this equation. For nth order difference, now here we have seen first order difference operator, second order difference operator. So how to write for nth order difference operator? So let me write it as for nth order difference operator, we can write this formula as delta is to n y i will be equal to delta is to n minus one y of i plus one minus delta is to n minus one. Y of i. So please remember, this is your generalized formula for nth order forward difference operator. So let me take here a few values 
let me take these values as first x and y value if i have a value let's say x0 y0 then x1 y1 then corresponding is x2 y2 then x3 y3 so let me take five values here and x4 y4 so from this i am going to prepare forward difference table so let me write it here as how to prepare forward difference table now why it is called as difference table why it is called as forward difference table that we will discuss after completion of this table so this will be your first is first column will be of x second column will be of y so let me write it as here x0 y0 then x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and last will be your x4 y4 so here if you see let me complete this table first let me draw this line this will be your next column now we are seeing looking for delta y how to find it out this this will be your delta y0 which is equal to y1 minus y0 that is second value minus first value so as we are taking here difference second value minus first value that's why it is called as difference table next will be your delta y1 which is equal to y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 next is delta y2 will be equal to y3 minus y2 and delta y3 will be equal to y4 minus y3 already we have seen how to find it out this uh, first order difference operator in the above steps next is delta square y so how to find it out this delta square here y0 so it will be what second value minus first value that is delta y1 minus delta y0 so here next is delta square y1 will be equal to delta y2 minus delta y1 then delta square y2 will be equal to delta y3 minus delta y2 similarly we will be uh, doing it for delta cube of y so what it will be delta cube of y0 will be equal to this minus this that is delta square y1 okay let me shift this to right side minus delta square y0 and this will be your delta cube of y1 will be equal to this minus this that is delta square y2 minus delta square y1 and if you want to write last uh, value of a table or last column so how we can write it here the last column will be delta is to 4 y so it will be what delta is to 4 y0 will be equal to delta cube y1 minus delta cube y3 so why this is called as your difference table this is called as difference table because here we are taking difference between y value now the thing is that why it is called as okay let me take other color first the thing is that why this is called as uh, forward difference table so if you observe here if you observe here this zero is moving here in a forward direction again this zero is moving here in a forward direction this one is moving here in a forward direction so if you observe we are going to take these values for further calculation delta y0 delta square y0 delta cube of y0 and the last one is nothing but delta is to 4 of y0 so here if you see as this value is moving in a forward direction like this so that's why this is called as forward difference table so here if you observe this delta y0 whatever we have taken it is nothing but your first entry then we will get some leading or a forward differences which is nothing but delta square y0 okay not a delta y0 y0 is the first entry but delta y0 delta square y0 delta cube of y0 like that whatever we have seen and whatever values here we have taken it is moving in a forward direction so you can say this is nothing but your leading differences this is called as leading differences or in other words i can say that this is also called as forward differences so therefore if you see here 
as we are uh, looking for this table here we are going to take difference between y values so that's why it is called as difference table and as the value of 0 is moving in a leading direction or a forward direction which is shown here by arrow if you see this was the uh, arrow that I have shown so we are going to use these values delta y0 delta square y0 delta cube of y0 delta raised to 4 y0 so that's why this particular thing it is called as forward difference table so this is what is the concept related to forward difference operator now in a next video sessions we are going to discuss about how to solve problems related to this forward uh, difference operator and how it will be useful for Newton's forward interpolation formula. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you once again.